From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Vicki Yates. A woman hit and left to die in the road, and this morning, Metro Police are looking for the hit-and-run driver. The wreck happened just after 11 last night at the intersection of Murfreesboro Pike and Wilhagen Road in South Nashville. The woman was in the crosswalk when a car slammed into her and then just drove away. The victim left bleeding in the roadway died at the scene. Police hope to release more information soon, including the make and color of the vehicle involved. Happening now, crews are working to clean up a Confederate monument at Centennial Park. The monument was vandalized overnight. Vandals wrote they were racists in red paint on the monument that is a statue of a private in the Confederate Army. This just into the newsroom, the case against a Lebanon man accused of selling drugs is headed to the Wilson County Grand Jury. Two separate search warrants were executed for Thurston Scott Drummond, the first in May at a hotel room, the second this month at his home on Arrowhead Drive. In both cases, officers found meth and heroin. He's hoping they'll want to expand their companies to Tennessee. Governor Bill Lee is headed to Asia this week. It's his first international recruitment trip as governor. The five-day trip will include visits with companies in Japan and South Korea. Right now, there are more than 1,000 foreign-owned business operations in our state. They employ approximately 150,000 Tennesseans. Now let's check in with Leland and the weather. Right around the Mid-South for us this afternoon, one or two storms could develop. I think we'll see scattered showers and storms fired up. Not everybody will see it, but where it does uh, happen, one or two of the storms could be on the strong side. So the Prediction Center has us on a level one out of five risk for strong storms this afternoon. Damaging wind gust hail would be the concerns, but also where it does rain, there may be some locally heavy downpours. Our high today at 89 degrees, 71 tonight. Tomorrow, rain coverage a little greater, so that daytime high just 83. Off and on rain chances through the period will lower those rain chances just a bit heading into Friday and Saturday. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham. Have a fantastic afternoon.